And if services are an increasingly large component of overall uh, GDP, Professor Lee, then are there downside risks to 5.5% GDP growth? Uh, yes, I, I, I agree with you. There's a downside risk uh, because of the slowing down of service consumption due to the zero tolerance COVID policy. Uh, so that's why I've been arguing or I've been predicting that this year in China, we are having a mini repeat of the situation of 2008, 2009, the global financial crisis. That is, this year's GDP growth in China will be driven heavily by infrastructure investment again in order to uh, make sure the 5.5% GDP target will be reached. So to give you a straightforward answer, 5.5, I'm not too concerned. I think it will be reached, okay, uh, because the government is very ter determined to do this. However, the structure of the 5.5 is mainly tilted towards infrastructure investment. And uh, Professor Lee, do you believe that we have seen the worst of the stress and the default risk amongst the property developers? Um, I think I tend to believe so. I would, I, would, I, would, I would believe in this, okay? Why? Because early on, early on the beginning of this year, and also including the government, in the government report of the Premier, much emphasis has been put on uh, this area, that is to make sure the property uh, in this property firms will not generate runs after runs of defaults. So all agencies, the central bank, the regulatory agencies have been mobilized to make sure the property firms defaults will not spread. That's, so I would tend to argue that's it. That's, we have seen the worst of defaults.